In this video, we will be covering the basics of soluble salts or salinity in North Dakota. The first thing we need to understand is the terminology. We can use the terms soluble salts, salinity, and saline interchangeably, and they all mean that the soil is salt affected. Second, we need to know that salts are inherent in North Dakota soils because they weather from the geologic materials. They have always been present, but due to the last 20 years of the wet cycle, they have been expressed across the landscape. You can see in this salinity risk index map that was developed for the Red River Valley by the NRCS Soil Survey that red areas indicate a high risk. This is a major problem producers are facing not only in the valley, but across the entire state. The reason the wet cycle has been so important is because the salts dissolve in water and move with it. But first, let's cover the basics about soluble salts. Salts in North Dakota are composed of a positively charged calcium, magnesium, or sodium ion that is attached to a negatively charged carbonate, sulfate, or chloride ion. For example, calcium combined with sulfate is also known as gypsum. So you have a positively charged calcium ion attaching to a negatively charged sulfate ion to form this compound. NaCl, which is table salt, is the positively charged sodium ion attaching to the negatively charged chloride ion. And calcium carbonate, which is also known as lime, is the positively charged calcium ion attaching to the negatively charged carbonate ion. Each salt compound has a different level of solubility. Solubility is key for understanding issues with salinity. Carbonate-based salts, such as lime, are relatively insoluble compared to other salts like gypsum, which are sulfate-based, and chloride salts like table salt. These easily dissolve in water. Here's a demonstration of how this works. When two grams, or the weight of a penny, of calcium carbonate is placed in 500 milliliters of water, it does not dissolve. On the other, with calcium sulfate or gypsum, it partially dissolves. Calcium chloride fully dissolves and therefore is the most soluble. It is the soluble salts that fully or partially dissolve in water that are contributing to salinity. Here are some examples of what we're seeing on the ground. Saline soils may have a white crusted surface or scabby appearance with reduced vegetation growth. This is a key indicator of salinity. Often the problem is not so obvious. The soil surface may appear healthy even when the salts are present in the rooting zone. This is what we call ghost salinity and it's absolutely essential to actively manage for salinity at this point before the salts reach the surface and cause that white crust. You can watch other videos on salinity to learn about how salts are distributed across the landscape and for management suggestions.